Hello, welcome back to What's Cooking and Gardening 242, where we share garden tips for beginners and recipe and cooking ideas for what you can do with your habits. Do you live in a small space, like an apartment? Or do you have poor soil? Or maybe you're just someone who wants to get started with gardening but don't know where to start? Well, if you said yes to any of those questions, today's show might just be one you want to stay tuned to. Reason being, I'm going to discuss my five favorite crops to grow in containers. Gardening in containers is an excellent way to begin your garden because you don't really need to worry about your soil because you determine what type of soil is going in your pot and it's also easier to manage than a large garden. I always tell beginners, when starting your garden, start small. So what better way to start small than starting in a container? Today, like I said, I will share five of my favorite crops to grow in containers. The first one, is lettuce. Lettuce don't require a whole lot of space to grow and they also give you a very quick harvest. So for beginners who want to really feel successful out of the out of the box, try growing lettuce. Another crop I enjoy growing in container is peppers. Peppers grow very well in containers and they don't require a real large container either. As you can see here, this is nothing short of a one gallon container. And another reason I enjoy growing peppers and I suggest it for beginners is because it produces heavily. Another heavily producing crop and a gardener's favorite are tomatoes. Tomatoes are excellent crops to start into and in containers. I would say try starting with a determinate tomato and maybe some small patio sized tomatoes like cherry fall or sweet 100 which make excellent tomatoes to start in containers. Another crop I enjoy growing in containers are herbs. Here Sage, an excellent crop to grow in containers. Basil and mint. So there you have it, my five favorite crops to grow in containers. Remember, for the quick win, lettuce, heavy producers, peppers, and tomatoes and what garden is complete is, is completed without fresh herbs like mint sage and basil so there you have it my five favorite crops a few more things to keep in mind when growing in containers growing in containers you will find that your soil might dry out a little bit more faster than when growing in the ground or in raised bed. So you want to water frequently. Secondly, if you place your container in a location that's not re receiving enough sun or receiving too much sun, you can always move your container to a shaded area or place it in an area where you can get more sun. So that's all I have for you today on gardening in container. Happy gardening, but before you leave, please subscribe, like, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.